Hey, everybody, it's Rhonda. And today we are going to be talking about these like preppy style designs or really any style designs that have the glitter borders and outlines. Okay. And I'm going to show you today how you can add this glitter to any of your designs. All right. And we're going to be using Affinity to do this. So this is a pretty popular thing right now with these, you know, glitter borders and stuff like that. And if you're using AI to uh, create your images, sometimes it's not the best at doing glitter borders. Also, if you are just, you know, creating your designs by putting pieces and elements together, you'll need to add the glitter yourself. So I'm going to show you how you can do that really easily a couple different ways here inside Affinity Studio. So I am going to come over here to layers and I'm going to get rid of this artboard. We don't need that. I just put that here to show you what we were going to do. And over here, I have a couple images that I have already ready. I created these earlier. I used Recraft to do these. So I want to show you a couple different ways we can do these glitter borders. So I'm going to create a new artboard, a blank one here, and I'm going to scroll over and I'm going to start with the bow here. OK, let me zoom out just a little so I can move things around a little easier. I'm going to grab this bow and I'm going to hold down alt and drag. I'm going to make a copy of it and put it over here on my blank artboard. And I'm going to make this bigger so you can see it better. All right. And so it fills up my 5,000 by 5,000 artboard because that's pretty much the size I want my design when it's done. OK, so the first way we can do this is pretty simple. Make sure you're in Vector Studio and then over here on the left, you want to choose your pencil tool. OK, select your pencil tool and all you're going to do is now trace around, draw around the edges of your bow. And let me, that's pretty thin. I want to make my, up here at the top, you can make your stroke bigger or you can do it over here on the side. It's up to you. So let me see how that looks. That's not too bad. Make it a little bigger, I think. Okay, and we have stabilizer on and you definitely want your stabilizer on and I'm going to say window. That looks pretty good. OK, so I'm just going to start tracing around the edges. And I'm just using my mouse to do this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, we don't just keep going till you have this stroke drawn all the way around where you want it. And I am using my mouse. If you have like a touchpad or something where you can use or use your finger, that would be even better. But I am using my mouse for this. OK, so that's done. I have my border drawn all the way around it. I'm going to turn that off. Whoops, I don't want to turn the artboard off. I just want to turn off the bow for now. And then I'm going to drag and I'm going to select all of this. Now, this is a stroke. So the first thing we need to do is select all of our curves and we can join them together. So at the top, click Add. No, nope, I did that wrong. Undo Add. <laughs> select all of it. Right click, Expand Stroke. OK, now you can add. So I did that backwards. Make sure you expand your stroke before you add them together and make them one path. All right. So now that they are one, one big path and you've expanded the stroke, we're going to come over and get our vector flood fill tool, set our bitmap fill. And in here, I have some glitter papers. Where are they? Let me. And just pick the glitter you want to use. I'm going to use this gold glitter and fill it in. And now you can adjust whether your glitter is big and chunky. 
And if it's small, it's, you know, completely up to you how you want this to look, right? So I think that looks good just like that. So I'm going to turn my pixel layer back on and you see there's the border. Now you can make this border smaller. You can leave it the way it is. It's up to you, but it, we have our glitter border on that bow. So just that simple is how you can do it. That's just one way. So let me create a new artboard again. And this time I am going to drag over our lucky. So I'm going to hold alt and drag. And again, I'm going to make this bigger. Now this one is a little different. I don't necessarily want a solid glitter border like we did on the bow. Okay. We have a lot of brush stroke growing going on in here. And I think I just want to accent this with some gold, right? With some glitter. So instead of using the pencil tool, we are going to come over here and select path brush tool. And then we're going to go to our path brushes and you'll have a bunch of different ones in here. It's up to you uh, which brush you use. I'm going to brush a couple of these and see what they look like. You know, you just look through here and decide for yourself which brush you think looks best. I'm going to go back to my acrylics and I think, okay, maybe that one. And I'm going to make it a little wider. Yep. Okay, that's the one I want. And I'm just going to go over this and put some brushes, just some strokes where maybe this one. Yeah, I think that one instead. I'm just going to put some brushes wherever I want to put these gold accents. And you can make your brush stroke wider or thinner as you want. Okay, so let me come in here. And I think up here I want one and I'm just doing it, you know, real light and I'm just dropping them in. And some of them, you know, will be longer. I'm trying to stick with the curve of the existing brush strokes. Now that one I went a little wonky with, but again, I'm using a mouse. I'm not using Put that in there, put one down there. And now I think I am going to switch over to another one. And I might just come in here on these shamrocks a little bit. Okay, I like that, but I'm going to make that smaller. And just put some gold in the shamrocks. Not a lot. And I know you're thinking gold, we're doing black. So I just put a little bit in there. Um, you can come inside of Lucky if you want. I'm gonna make it a little wider. And just put it wherever you think it will look best. All right, and I think that's good. You know, we're not doing, uh, we don't want the whole thing covered in gold. We just want a little bit of gold accent here and there. So once we have that done, again, I'm going to come over here to layers and I am going to turn off my lucky. Oops, nope, I can't do that. All right, I am just going to move this image out of the way. All right, I'm going to slide it over here quick. And I am going to take and select all of these little brush strokes that we just did. And I am going to right click and group them together. Now I'm just going to grab a glitter paper and I'm going to drag it in on top here and I'm going to put it over top of these brush strokes. And over here on my right in my layers panel, I have my group. I'm going to drag that above the glitter just so we can see them. Then we're going to right click it and create clipping mask. And that turned all of those little brush strokes that we did into the gold. And now you just put your design back where you want it and line everything up. And now you have those little gold stroke accents in there. All right. So that's the other way you can do this. And we could do that on this 
bow even. You know, if you didn't really want the solid bow on here or the solid border, let's turn off those that border and we can do the same thing in here. You know, we can do the path brush and just come in here. Got to select it over here too. Path brush tool. And you can just, you know, add these where you want them just to give it a little something extra. And I actually really like how the uh, acrylic brushes, how the stroke looks. It looks more hand drawn. And you can just put a little accent in there and the same in here. Like I said, you can adjust the size of these if you want to. I am leaving them all the same for this. And I think for this bow, because it has the like pencil sketches in here, it looks really good. You know, this acrylic brushstroke. So let's move our bow off, select all of these, group them together and bring in. And you know what? I think for this, since it's Valentine or uh, St. Patrick's, I'm going to drag in a green glitter. And we'll make that big enough to cover. Come back to layers and let's put our strokes above the green. Then just select that group, right click and create clipping mask. So now we have those green and we want to put our image underneath that. So there we have our like green glitter just in the brush stroke border. So that looks, I think, even better than the solid border of glitter. But either way, you know, whichever one suits you, that's how you can do it. But I, I honestly think the easiest is the brush stroke and then creating the clipping mask. I really think that's the easiest way to do it. And it looks the best. It gives more of a, it flows together a little bit better. So we can do the cross and I'm just going to delete these because we don't need them anymore. going to make my cross a little bigger and we're going to do the same thing with this. And we are going to use the brush stroke, the path brush, just like we did for the others, because I think that is the best way to get the most the border that looks the best in the glitter okay so again we're going to come over here we'll select path brush tool and on our right and our path brushes we'll select the stroke we want to use and i'm just going to test this and see and that looks pretty good that looks like a good size for what i want to do and then i'm just going to add this in here to this cross. Now I do want to get rid of that one. I want to try and uh, add these wherever you think you want that glitter to show up. And again, you know, you have the choice of making this thinner or wider. It's completely up to you. I'm not liking that last one I just did. So let's redo that. Alrighty, and I think, I think I'll add a little bit more there. Oops, I don't want that curve. Again, though, you know, I'm using a mouse, so I think I'm doing pretty good. So we have all of the brush strokes in there. Let's move our cross off to the side, grab all of these brush strokes, right click, group. And now we can bring in a glitter. And I think instead of going, I might just do gold. Yeah, let's just do gold for this one. I have, you know, many different colors we could do. We'll put that in here, come our, over to our layers, grab our group, put it on top, select the group, right click, create clipping mask. And now we have this brush stroke cross with glitter border accents. So that looks fantastic. And now you could add text to this if you wanted to. Let's add something here. Let's say 
Let me look at my recent ones. I think I'm going to use cute hamster. I'm just going to write faith. We can put that on here. It's a little smaller. We don't need it quite that big. And you can fill this with glitter now as well. We can come here to our vector flood fill tool, set bitmap, and now you can fill these in. And I should have grouped them together, but I didn't think about it. And now you have this that says faith. So, you know, you can add text later, or we could just fill this with color, whatever you want to do. All righty. So that's how you get the gold borders, the glitter borders onto your designs that you may have already made. And, you know, maybe you didn't have uh, glitter borders on them, but now that's becoming pretty darn popular, the glitter and metallic brush strokes in different designs. So now you know how you can add them to designs that you've already had or now will create new ones with them. All righty. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. As always, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.